Antichrist! See you on. <laughs> I'm always on. How do you not see me on? I'm constantly on. When I'm at home and I ain't at work, I'm playing a video game. All right, I'll check that out. Man. He's got black people. I didn't. I didn't uh, <laughs> invited you to like 17 different things. Yeah. I was like, fuck that dude. He ain't gonna ever respond. He can kiss my dick. I never check my messages. <laughs> <laughs> it went from ass to dick. <laughs> <laughs> How is that possible? All, no. all I'm so happy that I hit record. <laughs> I'm a douche. I don't want to. I invited to. you to the fight. Remember, I kept asking what games you play. What games you play? Yeah. I was inviting you to those games. You got to tell me. I don't pitch it up like that. <laughs> but he will creep down <laughs> Green River Road on the nicest day. The fucking <laughs> windows up. I, Look, I had my wimp driver's side down. No, you didn't. I don't want people to see me unless I wanted them to see me. <laughs> oh, boy. He was looking for a 70 year old. <laughs> hey, I'll get gummed all day. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not 100% pedophile. They're 17. Oh, I thought he said 70. <laughs> That's what I thought, too. <laughs> I thought. Well, I'm it like, is Sunday, March 17, 2019. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. This is the Bulldog on Chain Podcast. I'm your host, the King of Villains, Bulldog Malenko. Finally making his return after a month absence, Mr. Tucker. Yep, I'm back. Yeah. And then we've got Torin and Corey joining us today with What's Wrong With You, Man? What's up? What's, what's up? up? And we're so stupid. <laughs> I wasn't planned by that. Why now? You tell me. Oh my god. Like a and Nubsy Slow. It's your boy, boy. You want to say hi? Chloe. <laughs> Those are the only parts she's allowed to listen to. Oh, did, did you hear the rest of them last week? Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't shit. let her listen to it if she's a minor and me and Corey are on here. She's like she five. Shouldn't. We're gonna no mess up doubt. her entire life. Like, I, like she could listen to any of this fucking yeah. show ever. Oh, yeah. Except some parts, though. Except for hi Chloe. Hi Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> hi Chloe. Everybody say hi to Chloe. Now please hi, turn Chloe. off your phone. Hi Chloe. <laughs> Only I get to say it. <laughs> I don't even suggest you just told everybody else to, to say it. <laughs> I'm a dick like that. The, the little buggy. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. So probably got a poop. This. You got a poop? Nah, I'm saying Chloe probably got a poop. Oh. Huh? I'm just predicting her Jesus future right now. <laughs> Who's Chloe? <laughs> I have no idea. Chloe. <laughs> Chloe is Strawberry's youngest daughter. Okay. I was like, okay, okay, okay. who's Strawberry? Right? <laughs> I've been trying to figure that shit out for a year now. I'll give it up. <laughs> it's not Dina. It's not the fuck <laughs> Dina. Oh, man. I hate that bitch. No, no, that bitch either. Oh, you hate that bitch till you see her in the club. Yeah, right? when I see her in the club. Oh, you mean Nina's a real person? Yeah, she's yeah. I thought it was your, like, your left hand or something. No, no. my left hand's called Julie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dina's a real person live. She oh. had a tramp stamp of like angels flying because she's a devil. <laughs> a, Sounds like every woman you have ever dated, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I closed my eyes like that? I go, he fucked my ex. <laughs> Seriously? I, no, I didn't get the number, man. We just oh, the same okay. thing that happened at a Boca Lounge. Hey, uh, how would I say to her? You just say hi, motherfucker. That's oh, the same yeah. thing that happened. He yeah. has no game. What's Let me tell you, I no know. game. He's I like know. an Xbox with no pirate codes. Cords. <laughs> no cheat codes no, whatsoever. Nothing, nothing. Controller don't even work. He has yeah, no, no game batteries. <laughs> this no plug games. I've never seen no game having an ass motherfucker before in my life. And look at me, I'm so pretty. <laughs> I don't know about all that shit. <laughs> He's no game. <laughs> He said to me, he said, what do I say to her? Why don't you just start with hello? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. And she was like, ass, boom. Hello. Was it me you're looking for? That she was probably good. For me. That's probably how he was going to do it. I'm thinking of that. I should have so done last that night, Last night, we went to Denny's after we left the bar. Just a couple of us. I'm sitting at Denny's, dude, and I'm on one. Okay. I'm just <coughs> like, that's the kind of shit that makes me go, see, this is when I should be on stage. It's that situational comedy, and it was happening, we, and it was like it yeah, was like yeah. forty five goddamn minutes, dude. I, I was just cool. on fire in Denny's, and I, I I boiled down to this whole thing. Like people are just 
walking by and this and the waitress kept coming up to the table and, you know and <clears throat> i'm just looking at all these girls as they're walking in too and they're wearing them like ripped up jeans and stuff oh, so that's, and yeah. all of a sudden my new catchphrase popped into my head and this motherfucker is going to just i'm gonna run with it all the goddamn time anytime I don't care if I say something like offensive out in public and somebody's like, wow, you really shouldn't say that. I'm going to look up dead and I'll be like, you flirting with me? <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> because I kept leaning out, looking at these girls standing there and they're, they're in their, you know, shredded pants. Like they got, they're wearing leggings and they got holes cut in the front of them. That's and it. I was like, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> Toy guys. and I'm sitting there leaning, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm leaning out, like I'm leaning out in the booth and I'm like, are you flirting with me? Because about every other inch of your leg is. <laughs> the, the people sitting with me, they're fucking dying. And then the one time I actually say it to someone is our waitress. When uh, it came time to pay, I, I'd forgotten that you have to go up to the register to pay now, didn't he? So I laid my card on the receipt. And I was, and she goes, "Do you guys need anything else?" I was like, "No, just I'm, I'm ready to pay." And she goes, "Oh, you've got to go up to the register. <laughs> you've got to go up to the register to pay." And I was like, "You flirting with me?" And she, she goes, "I am very, very, very gay." Oh. I fucking lost my she shit. Took it seriously. Hold on, I laughed so fucking. And she, she like, she didn't realize what was happening. And the two people that are with me are dying laughing too. I'm fucking rolling, and I was like, "That is the best response that could have happened to <laughs> the first shit, to the first shot fired of Are you flirting with me?'" And so I explained it to her when I went up to, <laughs> to pay, and she's checking it out, and she was like, "Oh my god!" She goes, "Well, I really am gay," and I was like, "That's fine," but that was so perfect <laughs> that the first time because I explained like yeah. this just popped into my head I started saying it a whole bunch to everyone or like just at everyone yeah. around us and the first time I actually fired it at someone yeah. oh man yeah. fucking wonderful was she cute though? yeah 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 she she's cute, cute. Yeah. and she she said she goes she goes look if you were to see my girlfriend you would understand why I'm gay <laughs> she, she was like she's hot as fuck like, yeah like, like, like it just face. so worked out that I'm lesbian too face. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, we I have that in common. Was, I too like to lick vaginas. I used to live with some lesbian chicks, and we used to go out drinking all the time together. And guys, they would tell guys we're lesbians, and you know what the dumbest fucking response to is two women saying that? Because I lick pussy too. Yeah. Oh, whoops. so whoops. Oh, he says that a lot. So? <laughs> Man, is that, hey, you want to try some dick? That's what I say. <laughs> you want to try some? Dick? They did want to try some dick. We all be in a relationship for a long time after that. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Torn. <laughs> we lived together, bought houses together. It was, it was no, a real did. thing. It was rubbing, a real rubbing it in. Just Everybody's rubbing it in. No, but dude, I was rubbing it out. I was rubbing I it out. <laughs> <laughs> There's that block of cocaine again, guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's all anybody wants to talk about. Yep. Fuck I love it. Like, like last night at Hornets Nest, me and Church sitting next to each other. Me and Church look a lot alike. Yeah. And this hot chick comes walking over. She's like, are you two twins? And Church couldn't even get shit out of his mouth. I was like, we can be. You working on a checklist or something? <laughs> <laughs> Is this your bucket list, baby? <laughs> and she was just like, I'll be right back. I looked at Church. I'm like, she's coming back. she got to think about a response. <laughs> Did she come back? Yeah, she came back. What's she's it? like, I have never in my life been speechless to something someone said to me. The first words out of their mouth. I'm like, what you trying that shit, Corey? I was like, so this That's is one game you haven't tried. <laughs> <laughs> You told us that you want We've to done everything else if we get women. We haven't tried that one. So that's my twin brother. <laughs> I, mean, I would die laughing. But most of the time, I'm fucking clueless. If though. you said that, most if time. you said that, and I'm standing there, I would literally have to turn my head <laughs> and like just act like I see something happening over here, along <laughs> way, so that I don't immediately go. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it. Yeah, we we twins. Yeah. Like, it's true. His, our mom was white, our daddy black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see which one got the which one, right? <laughs> if we were to go out as twins, Torn would want me to do blackface. <laughs> he, he wouldn't volunteer to do white face first. He'd be like, You do blackface. <laughs> I wanna see how that goes. <laughs> 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 that goes good. If that works out then you know we'll switch it up for next time. <laughs> you just gotta be careful on where you go. <laughs> Not Evansville. <laughs> <laughs> they take that shit literal. Oh my god! Whiteface. 
That'd be funny. So yeah, this is my 40th birthday weekend. Happy birthday! Oh, happy happy birthday. birthday on Friday. Yeah. You ah. just became a man. Welcome yeah, right. to the 40 <laughs> club. <laughs> oh boy, 40 club, right? Yeah. Here. You about to stress everything that don't matter? Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I uh I went Friday. With Tiger Kurt. shoes gonna be uh, uh, accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Velcro <laughs> shoes. <laughs> now you get them dad bod one hundreds. Those new balance. Velcro yeah, and the Jews. New balance. <laughs> <laughs> what? He said Velcro Jews. <laughs> yeah, <the> Velcro Jews. <laughs> oh, they'll stick to you. Make your money right. <laughs> oh my God! How did Hitler tie his shoes with Velcro Jews? <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> So yeah, we went up. We went up to you. Indianapolis to see. Uh, we went to see Clutch. It was my twentieth show. It was fucking badass. Clutch is always amazing. But this first band that was up, I gotta talk about them. They were called the Inspector Cluzo, two piece. The guitarist sang, and then they had he had a drummer, and they were bad fucking ass. And they were from France, and they even made fun of France. They're like. We are not from Paris and all this. And they were like, fuck Paris. They were like, those are not the real French people. And the whole crowd's going crazy for him. And he was entertaining as fuck. Did you did you guys watch Sons of Anarchy at all? I did. Remember yeah. Bobby Elvis? Yeah. This dude looks like if Bobby Elvis and Jack Black had a love child. Mm -hmm. And he, like, they're like this blues metal. And he has this awesome like raspy <laughs> growl to his voice that, oh hi sorry <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing nuzzy <laughs> hit was the he over here microphone. sleeping no oh, he just okay. bang hmm? Hmm. he's more like asleep are you asleep. falling asleep just... no okay <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're making out <laughs> I know it sounds like it's all fucking close to my face <laughs> I know <laughs> it's all up on his face <laughs> you look like you got pussy in your face right oh, there. <laughs> no it's just a microphone train yeah Okay. That's why you always read like bosh. I want to sleep right now though. I can tell. You look like you smoked a fat ass blood. I wish. <laughs> he just, always looks you like that. You better quit saying that shit before you get piss tested at work. That's that half Mexican stuff. You gotta leave me alone for that. I'm half sleeping. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> I take that back. Half Somebody's going to run with sleeping. that. That's redhead. I take that back. You know what? Last time I was here, he tried to say something in Spanish. He no longer is half Mexican. He's like 10%. He's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. No. Who has he can't Mexican. even pronounce the Taco Bell yeah. menu properly. I don't know how to pronounce Taco he Bell. He said Gordito. Hey, yeah. Well, well, whenever he did Nubsy's Corner that one time, he said he had to Google Translate it. So yeah. 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 Right. I'm not sure I got it right. That pissed me off. I can't even when he tried to say, the, When he tried to say D. Dia de los Muertos. Yeah. Dia de los Muertos. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the first time, he, he was like, Dia me la derro. Yeah. And I was like, That pissed me off. Bruh. I was offended. Yo, I, I was offended. Was I was too. My Spanish teacher sucked. Yo, <laughs> yo, was a white yeah. 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 Yo, 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 me llama. Me la llama. You sound like a. You sound like somebody from prison trying to learn Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to read. <laughs> yeah. T A M O. Uh, <laughs> what, what's his the, word? The Capascasius. What's his word? The Hamishus. La Paz. No, it's La Paz. I don't know what that is. I can't deal with. I think it's pencil. That's what he sound like. Uh, I prison think, dude. I think it's pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! So yeah, and then anyway, <laughs> I love the full circle. Yeah, shit. right. <laughs> after after clutch, after that show's done, which by the way, I still did not get to meet them. My twentieth fucking clutch show, I still did not got to meet these motherfuckers. But they don't want to meet you. I know, right? I think it's just going to be cat and mouse game at this point. No, like they're just they're all on board. They're they like, we can them. never let bulldog meet us now. Like it's it's out in it's it's a part of the verse. So now it can't happen. They listen to the show. Yeah, right. Probably. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tweet them motherfuckers later. <laughs> well, I I tweeted at him and and Tim Salt, the guitarist, liked my tweet. And I was oh. like, motherfucker. But I was like, ooh, it's happening. It's We're so, the, like the 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 paths are starting to merge. Like, I feel like I heard this. But JP, yes, you did. 
But JP, the we drummer. We talked about it earlier, oh. you know. This motherfucker <laughs> thinks he's time traveling and shit. I feel like I'm high and I remember You that. ever have deja vu? I'll have to check with the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Is that I don't want none of that shit. I just want to check it. <laughs> hey, what? What's that? Cordon Blue. That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think. Like, <laughs> but the drummer uh, JP chicken corduroy for my birthday <laughs> gives me one of Neil Fallon's guitar picks. So that was cool as fuck. I was stoked for that. And then after that show, we head to this place in Indy called the Mousetrap, where Steady Flow, the fusion funk band that I played on the on the show oh, a snap. couple weeks ago, they were there. So their tour lined up with Clutch, and I was like, that's the universe giving me a great 40th birthday, man. Mm-hmm. And it was funny, because when we walked around the backside of the building to go into their actual entrance, their van is parked there, and they're sitting in the van. And as we're walking up, we have to walk right by the van. And at first, they were like, what's up, guys? And then all of a sudden, they were like, holy shit! Holy shit, it's those guys! <laughs> they got super fucking excited. We were fucking all happy as hell. Go inside, man, they fucking killed it. And they dedicated the song that I love, Bottle mm. of Funk, to me for my birthday. And oh, that's cool. Yeah, man. And they just they put on a great show, as that's always. And That's cool. Hell yeah, it was just a good time. And then I got to drive back right after that. So I literally got home and went to bed at 5. Oh, you guys 30. came straight home. Yeah. Man. Ooh, after drinking and partying? <sighs> I didn't it was a great drink. 40th birthday, though, right? It was. Yeah, it yeah. goes downhill after that. Hey, yeah. <laughs> if it that really Indy drives easier. It don't now. go downhill. It just drops down. Like, yeah. 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 so <laughs> it's a cliff. But, <laughs> man, I was tired because I'd been up six, since 6 a.m. Friday for work and everything. And, whew, I got home to bed at 5.30 Saturday morning. Mm. And I was like, as I laid down, what? What time was the concert? The con the actual concert was nice. our time like seven to ten thirty. So oh. eight to eleven thirty up there. And then we went to the bar and then, you know, it took three hours to get home. Well, not it like two forty, two hours forty minutes. But what time did you get off work? I got off work early. I got off work at one thirty. Oh. I was like, that's a yeah. Why are you drilling oh. everybody? Jesus I know, right? <laughs> you sound like my ex wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to put this in my head and make sure that it works. I know she ain't listening. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> yeah, when I, when I laid down, when I laid down, I was so like, oh man, this is gonna be like the perfect sleep now. Like it's Saturday, I don't have to be up at any particular time. I'm just gonna sleep. Two hours. And at nine thirty, my eyes went. <laughs> Fucking right, no. wide open. I was like, you yeah. gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah. You so know why? Because st- you hit 40. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to sleep you no longer hours. sleep anymore. Right. That's well, what happened the first time I did cocaine. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> right there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> big old block. Yeah, then I can't wait. I took a, like from, from 1230 to 2, I took a nap right before I went out for my birthday lunch with some friends. And uh, speaking of. My friend Maggie, who's been on the show, she uh, she got me a birthday gift that she had made, and it is a coffee mug with three photoshopped images. I'm going to take a picture of this and put it up on the page for you guys to see, but <laughs> it is three photoshopped images of me and George Clooney together. Oh, fucking George Clooney. That guy needs to get on board, too. What's her name again? Maggie. Maggie. Maggie is muy guapo. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's like, what's that mean? Very <laughs> handsome. That's what I was just about to say. Like, guapa. <laughs> you see the confused look in his eyes? I was surprised he knew that word. Like, does he, he think it means money? I went to looks. college, people. <laughs> I got kicked out of college. So. I know. It's hard to believe. <laughs> I try to tell people that about Corey all the time. He, he looks stupid, but he's very fucking intelligent. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what people think about me. They look at me and they're like, look at this big dumb meathead. Uh, then they come talk mean, to me and they're like, first why are you talking to me about quantum mechanics and physics? And I'm like, because that's what I'm into. First they're like, I, I can't talk to you now. The first thing I thought was, hey, man, I wish I was still selling meth. <laughs> you want a weight loss program? I got one for you. Yeah. <laughs> I need some of that. Gatorade, that's what I need in my life. This I old, need some of that quarter pounder with cheese you just had. This old, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. My ass was hungry when And I it got was a here. double. It was a double. Man, do y'all remember when they came out with the double quarter pounder? Oh, oh yeah. Goodness, People lost man. their minds. It was like, Man, yo, how's it still a quarter pounder? I gained pounder three pounds double? that week, goddammit. I don't gain weight. 
<laughs> it should be like a half a pound burger then. <laughs> Shit. Well, that's what that's a what good, very good, Nubsy. They should call it a half a pound burger. He can't speak Spanish, that's but he can do that. burger. <laughs> there, I learned a new word today. You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Amsterdam? <laughs> Guapo. Royale with cheese. Royale, Royale, Royale with cheese. Goes, you mean well, they don't call it a quarter pounder? No, man. They got the fucking metric system. They don't know what a quarter pound is. They actually know what to do. <laughs> they get Royale a with cheese. Yeah, we're the only place that made up our own fucking measurement system. Well, I don't know. Yeah. That's like this whole country made up everything we do. <laughs> if it ain't America, like, it ain't right. <laughs> yep. If it ain't America, it ain't right. <laughs> Miles instead of kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> Gallons instead of liters. <laughs> which, are, right? which are shorter. They are trying yeah. to disassociate themselves <laughs> completely with the rest of the world when they started America. They're like, no, oh, no, no, let's not do that. Below freezing is 32 degrees instead of zero. <laughs> <laughs> Cigarettes is called fags. <laughs> a, a bundle of spits is a faggot. <laughs> oh. That's right. Yeah, I mean it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's that is a correct. A tally whacker is a tally whacker is what you. Well, actually, I think that's a British term anyway. But tally whacker is what you use, I believe, to measure the circumference of a tree. That would be fucking wanka. <laughs> that's <laughs> wanka. <laughs> when I worked in Orlando, a European came up to me and said. uh Yo, can I get a fag? I go, it's the next bar over. <laughs> uh, oh, I was like, that's so okay. fucked I didn't up. know. I didn't know. That's that was so fucked up. Mm. Cigarette. Okay. Uh, that ain't gonna put doctor in your show just for that one remark. That's gangster. <laughs> I thought of what might happen if I said that ahead of time. <laughs> and then he remembered, oh, wait, this is Bulldog Show. I can say whatever. Bam. Yeah, the, L- the LGBT is about to boycott your show. <laughs> they love oh, the show. Oh, dude, shit, I guarantee yeah. you, I guarantee you, oh, the members of the LGBT LGBTQ Q community, that I, no, I guarantee those that have even a lick of common sense, if they have listened to my show, they're yeah. like, okay, this guy gets it. Like, yeah. I, I always refer to myself as a staunch ally. I'm just not willing to play the pronoun game. That's where I draw the yeah. line and I'm off the, I'm off the fucking bus. Fuck your pronoun game, yeah. but you do whatever you got to do to make yourself happy. happy. And if That's somebody else feel, tries right to there. fuck with you, I will monkey stomp their goddamn yeah. head into the yeah. pavement. I would like to be yeah. known no as disrespect king from here on out. Yeah, no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> words are words, goddamn. Yeah. That is my pronoun. I'll meet you in the bathroom right quick. Right? I'll be like, uh, you must refer to me as Universal Master Centaur from now on. Yeah, so, <laughs> I don't and think and so. in my world, they haven't they haven't been going against the world long enough to have anything to go against anything. What the hell are you over there doing? Oh, oh, Mr. Man. You know we ain't here like a puzzle piece. Right? <laughs> Mark our chairs. <laughs> Take it off. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you're going to have to cry. Jesus. Hey, you, fucking up everything. Hey, you know, you could have gone to pee before you. Before we started This is recording. Nubsy fucking up the show. Everything was going so great. Yeah, oh, I know, was. right? Leave it to the man who thinks he's half Mexican. I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He didn't even say Pardona May. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> How are we ever going to believe you? <laughs> I don't know more after that last shit he did. He <laughs> 100% redneck. Deal the man by the like, the Fuck, that was like what? two months ago that he did the Nubsy's Corner and had to use Google Translate. No, he's done it again since then. Oh. <laughs> Has it been two months though, for real? I mean, I was yeah. gone for at least a month. Yeah, he was gone. Before. Tucker was out for a month. He was here, yeah. Tucker, Tucker was sick for two weeks, and then he uh, and well, was you gone. went for the races with your dad. Yeah. 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 Which is only going to get worse. <laughs> it feels it weird obvious. in here without Nubs. I don't know why. <laughs> I know, right? He's it kinda, Nubs, he's kind of the anchor of the show. He doesn't even say shit. I know. But <laughs> even though he's silent like 90% of the time. But that's just it. If you notice, when he does talk, yeah. He picks he picks his spots oh, yeah. very well. Yeah. Like the, I hear that from so many people. They're like, yeah. Nubsy doesn't talk much, but when he does, it's goddamn hilarious. Yeah. And I'm like, I know. Yeah. Trust me, I'm sitting there and I'm laughing into the microphone. Like <laughs> I, I get it. I have to see him. Like <laughs> he's fucking ridiculous. You know, uh, I've never really heard my voice audio until we started doing these shows. Everybody hates the sound of their voice. Man, I sound like a fucking snotty nosed white dude. Every, I knew you were gonna say that. I, uh, well, everybody, I, no. It okay, took me first, a minute to know I was talking. No, here's 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 the thing. So, the human brain. This isn't a joke either. This is real. So, your mind 
does not handle hearing your own voice well because when you think about it as you are speaking you can hear what you sound like but your brain is also processing the words at the moment you're speaking so your brain doesn't properly process how you sound when you hear yourself played back it's actually there's there most people have this fucking thing that your brain gets annoyed at the sound of your own voice and you're like oh my god i sound like shit which is why a lot of singers cannot listen listen. they have to have someone else tell them that was perfect like when they're recording albums and stuff like the rest of the band has to be like that's what we needed right there because if they listen to it, they're gonna be like, "Oh fuck, that's awful! I gotta do it again." Yeah, I gotta brain, do it again. Brain voice is totally different. Yep. I don't. Sense. I no longer listen to shows that I'm on. I no longer. Dude, listen. I I haven't listened to uh, the last show that I listened to was probably two months ago. Yeah, month and a half. So. What the, what the fuck, fuck was that? Nubsy. I think Boone just destroyed his ass. <laughs> Sound like he out there fucking the cat. Trying to talk to him. He can speak cat, but he can't speak Spanish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he out there fucking with Boo. I be- caramba <laughs> El Paro <laughs> Gato El oh, yeah. Gato El <laughs> Gato Gato is dog It is dog Yeah Gato is cat I got like water too Oh no. Were you out there talking to Boo? you were fighting with the yeah. fucking cat Your 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 uh, cat language is much better Oh Jesus I'm pretty good at the fucking sign language and stuff I can't believe that isn't piercing right now sign language? That, what he that, said to me? Those headphones don't do it I can't believe Where's Nubsy's headphones? Yeah, oh, they're okay. supposed to go right there. Yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. My Nubsy puts, well, no, these don't do it for what. It, but the ones that Nubsy has, if he would have hung them over the mic, mm-hmm. it would have squealed immediately. Like they got a really yeah, powerful magnet. Yeah, anybody with headphones would have been fucking pissed off. Yes. <laughs> he got three different <laughs> st- sets of headphones. How are you gonna get a hey, sponsor Nubs, when you pull your fucking mic down? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I turned the, turn the mic off. I put him up there. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wrong. Mine was still on no from last week, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to remember how close your mic was, it was throat deep. <laughs> That's where and we were. And the screen at. was way closer. <laughs> like, oh yeah, <laughs> like you were licking that carpet. Yeah. So you were, oh my god, <laughs> I got carpet. You were down. He was in the open. So what the fuck's been going on with you guys? Uh, oh man, we've been doing a lot. A lot uh, too much, man. I have to actually. I have so much. I have neglected so much of my personal life. I'm backing off for the next month or so. Yeah. Yeah. I got kids and grandkids who you just keep saying, uh, "Grandpa, Dad, when you gonna come see us? When you?" And I have just been so busy for the next month. Only thing I'm doing is the uh, 12th show, and I'm not interjecting myself in anything. What about uh, shorties? I gotta come and get the. I, I'm gonna have to come no, because I don't want y'all to be fucking up my equipment. It was too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I just paid it off, goddammit. <laughs> but I'll be there to do that. Uh-huh. But I'm not getting on no mic. I'm just gonna do the sound. Okay. I might get up there. Yeah, right. I might get up there. And I've been so stressed out with this new shit that they got going on at work. I can't even be funny in fucking public, man. I got this shit on my mind 24 seven. What happened at work? It's just they got a new system that they got us doing with inventory and everything. And it's just. I think about it all the fucking time. <laughs> all the time. I mean, constantly like it was a pretty girl or something. You love your constantly. job. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. No. So I can't even... Now, we won't we won't mention where... But are you a manager there? Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. I thought I try, so. try owning the damn thing until yeah, I'm no. thinking about oh, it. Oh, yeah, dude. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. So we got two water. <clears throat> but uh, I haven't said this to the group yet. But... Uh, this is got- an exclusive, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, we, we got somebody who's looking at our, our Facebook page, asking for pictures of everything, videos of everything to sponsor us. And we have a person that has a big investment they want to put into us. And I'll, I'm trying to set everything up. That's another reason why I backed off, so I can handle the business. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's and, not in LA. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to set up a <laughs> show. I'm trying to get things rolled out so we can have a big show in this city and, and not like at a bar at uh, at the, uh, what's that place called? Old National? Old National. At the Event Plaza. Plaza. Event Plaza. I'm trying to pull things together and get the right comedians and the right things for that. I'm working on that right now. It, it, it's going to be something big, but I don't want to elaborate on everything. We don't even know. This yeah, is the right. first, yeah. it's the first yeah. thing I heard of it. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to elaborate on anything, but I'm trying to work on something because we finally got the attention that we've been looking for for the past three years and we got somebody who's going to do shirts that's where you come in yeah I know a guy uh, <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah. we got some things rolling out and it's stressing me out to the point where I can't even make love to my woman 
but I can make love to everybody else's woman, so that's not an issue. <laughs> 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 I, I, why you touching me, Corey? <laughs> he ain't got a woman, Corey. He ain't got no yeah, woman. I don't have to worry about it. Corey's like, first Nubsy's fucking my women. Corey's gonna fuck my women. Well, if I fuck Corey's women, he's gonna be there to watch. Yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that's how it goes. He's gonna, he's gonna stand there and hold a glass of water in case I get thirsty. It's definitely wine or liquor. Yeah. 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 Corey's a cuckold, huh? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold oh my God! Me. Hold, oh, hold on! Me, Time out! This is the typical cuckold video. <laughs> you like that black dick, honey? <laughs> I mean, you said you said it to a woman. <laughs> this is all real life shit. <laughs> that was you on that Pornhub video. <laughs> I want my thirty grand. <laughs> Oh my god. I did say that to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said that to him. <laughs> she liked him. You know what you said? You liked the way he fucked you with that big black dick. Uh, <laughs> and I had to stop for a second and think, well, shouldn't I be the one talking like that? <laughs> no, you're an afterthought. Dude. Yeah, you, evidently. <laughs> I'm there for one point, reason. At that point, you are simply the Mandingo. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to be here next week. I'll <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that now. Oh boy, mm. that's like Torin. He's like, "Hey, see this chick? Let's fuck her together." I'm like, "What the fuck am I gonna be your foreskin, <laughs> <laughs> big black cock, motherfucker?" <laughs> well, let me tell you, he's very good at being a foreskin. <laughs> he's always there for the dick. That sounds <laughs> not right. You <dude. laughs> just got your sponsorship back from the game. <laughs> That's <laughs> gone. And the LGBTQ loves us again. Oh, no, they love us. Oh, no, I wouldn't use this as part of our sponsorship. <laughs> we say on here, nope, they will never know about this until it's too late. <laughs> They're watching the page. They already know about the podcast. Yep. Yeah. They're like, watch. They that's probably why you got that attention. They're like, Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Wait. And you know we what? Can That's connect funny all you of these that. people with this because it's a. I'm, I, don't, I don't want to drop no names. It's a female who runs the company, and it's the company is all about sex. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh snap! Well, yeah. So they're, they're the ones paying attention to us right now. That's good. Yeah. Did they, did they sponsor? Uh, Who'd you fuck? <laughs> Nobody in a few months. <laughs> you just pass it over to me, son. <laughs> no, you they wouldn't want the, know what to say anyway. They want the, <laughs> I, I would talk to her in Spanish. They I want love, the, yeah, no. She'd be really confused. They want the deal to happen. <laughs> I like, I like <laughs> tacos. Honestly, when the set down comes, I'm sick of this. I watched The Ringer the other day. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's a, that's South Park Christ is a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> he was. I mean, that's true. <laughs> but they come up with some shit on there. So anyway, when did we get ice creams? Oh, right. Oh. But really, though, I, yeah. I, I got some things that I think is going to help us in the, by the end of the year. It's going to be a long term. It's not something that's going to hit right away. By December, we might be putting something big on for That's us. awesome. That's awesome. Oh, my God. And we've, had hit, we've hit our goals every year it, it, before we said we wanted to hit them. So. That's, that's stupid. So no. we're not on news for you cover, and that upsets us. No, so at the end of the year, we're going to hey, be there. So I was, thinking, I was thinking about that, too. Yeah. I've been thinking about contacting news for you on behalf of both of us mm -hmm. and being like, look, you guys are missing something that's transpiring right now in the Evansville underground. Like you guys are missing it. And I like, yes, it is a little bit of self promotion, but this is something I think that you should be covering that there is a show and there is a performing group of comedians that have joined forces and, that's exactly what we wanted to. We want yeah, on the we, cover. We don't want just to be yeah. just us. We want just all comedians local and, comedians. Yeah, the, yeah dude, oh, like oh a whole team. fucking group shot. Yeah, yeah. Of I just want it to be me. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Even you the know, ones that don't like us. It's sad. <laughs> you, you know, like I have the perfect picture for it too because I think it would be hilarious. But if we could have any kind of budget for that photo shoot, do you know what would be the fucking best yeah. thing ever? You said. All oh I was gonna <laughs> no shit I was gonna say have all of us in like that you know you know what the you like said. the red black and white camo is yeah. oh yeah with the assault vest the on and holding camo. like well not the urban the urban's the black the gray LG. and white but the red the, the red. red and white camo with the black assault vest and have like fucking uh, airsoft guns that look like real yeah. fucking and be like. The comedy assault has happened or has begun. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure me and Torn will get shot. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to put me in the back with just my head. Out. <laughs> like this. 
And by, <laughs> by association, you don't want to get look, shot. No, we'll have, we'll have all these motherfuckers. Right. We'll have all of us standing around pointing the guns and Torrens down on his knees with his head <laughs> behind his head. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> that is a good idea. Me and him both. <laughs> news, news for you gets shut down. We get and shut down. And his says no to the wall. No, I mean, no to the wall. <laughs> Hashtag no consent. <laughs> Hashtag no consent to the wall. That would be one of the patches on the assault vest. <laughs> Hashtag no consent. It's better than my idea. Me helping uh, Andy do a wheelie in his wheelchair, and he's holding a pickle like a cigar. Oh, my <laughs> God. Now, see, if we do the f- just the regular group yeah. photo, that, that would be, be fucking funny. Yeah. funny. yeah. Oh, my God. What if it was like over a cliff, you just helping Andy do a wheelie? Okay, No. <laughs> like, I honestly, I think that Photoshop. I think that the comedy assault is I just that, a, that's a great that's a good term title for, a for, great all, big for show. all of us together. Yeah, yeah, that's a good title for a big show in Evansville. Comedy assault. <laughs> We're gonna be somebody you know, one day. We should it. do something like that, and at the end, put you and all of us on stage in a situation comedy. Oh yeah, like the uh, do, like do the Q and A. Q&A. Yeah, do a oh, bunch God. of comedians before, and then instead of having us as stand up for the night. All of us are on stage at one time in the very end <laughs> as a situation comedy to that talk to everybody. That would be a shit show. I think that yeah. would be great. <laughs> Every comedian show. in you two up there, yep. I think that would be a great ending to a show. I still got two waters. <laughs> Jesus. You Lord. already peed once, See? motherfucker. God damn, God Noobsy. God damn. Noobsy. Just see you how had, unfunctional you we had were. half an hour before we actually started to fucking stock up on this shit. I know. Hey, by the way, another comedian we got to talk about Miss Brian Dior. Oh, you can pronounce it. She yeah. says she should have called herself Breezy D. Yeah, white right folks can pronounce Look, her name. Brian Dior. Oh, I know that girl's name. I thought her name mm. was Breezy. Yeah, Breezy because that's D. That's what we do. We name our children Breezy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, hold, hold on. DC. Time out. <laughs> hold on. Baby you do name your Friday. kids like Febreze and <laughs> I don't. And Fe- <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I can't believe you're not Apple. there yet. I, mean, I named one of my digits. kids. Okay, see if y'all can catch it. <laughs> I named can. one of my sons Dylan Kane. Yeah, give him that white name so he no, got it. No, 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 no. Dylan Cocaine. Dylan Kane. Oh Dylan my Kane. god! <laughs> a lot of people like wearing a pouch when they name kids Apple. That's a fucking freak. <laughs> you lost the <a> bet. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Kim and Kanye named one of their kids Northwest. I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to bring them into it. That's yeah. a direction. <laughs> Very, just want to be very good, Nubs. Supposed to go. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I don't know why I got mad like I was offending Kanye. <laughs> but of course he named his baby Northwest. <laughs> what was the other one's fucking name? Isn't it? Chicago. <laughs> Chicago West. Cloudy. <laughs> That's the name, Chicago. <laughs> really? Yes. Our ch- our daughter's name is Chicago, but we call her Wendy. <laughs> Isn't he no. from like Fort Wayne or something? No, he's from Chicago. Nah, he ain't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not really. He's from Chicago, <laughs> like Eminem's from Detroit. Yeah, he's from yeah, Eight yeah. Mile. He's from Warren. He's from Indiana. Dude, he, Warren. His, that's where it his is. ass wasn't even from Eight Mile. Yeah, it was. The no, movie. No, no, no. He grew up in the movies. Yeah, yeah. He, his ass was in a trailer park in Warren, Michigan. He walked to Eight Mile. No, his ass limped home from Eight Mile when he got stomped. No, he got that car though. Oh my god! I'm, I'm basing god everything damn. I know about Eminem off the movie. <laughs> a movie that was written by some stranger that he. <laughs> so, so you think that he was called B Rabbit? No, oh, that's oh. just a nickname to oh. undermine the fact that he's Eminem, Marshall Mathers, <laughs> aka Slim. There's Shady. no way The Rock survived all those natural disasters. <laughs> 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 so you can't believe everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's the internet. It gotta be true. <laughs> That motherfucker just barely beat that whole fault line. He's running. off a skyscraper. The earth's coming to an end. I mean, and then he, the giant animals all over the yeah. place. Red yeah, if you believe the movies, <laughs> you know we've died like eight times at the end of the world. Yeah. I know 2012 really happened in my lifetime. It's a parallel universe. We talked about this. You've been watching, the Hadron you've been watching too much fucking yeah. Rick and Morty. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, y'all got me hooked on that shit. Uh, hold on, time out. <laughs> y'all don't want to hook me up. With no, that. we you, we can show. we can laugh and joke about shit like that, but then people like Matt Grinning exist. 
the creator of The Simpsons. You mean the time traveler? Yeah, that yeah. The time, time traveler. Travel. Yeah. yeah, he predicted just about everything. That's Every going on. fucking thing. And it's not just one single year. Yeah, of shit. No, yeah, he was a line He was giving us shit like ten years before it happened, yeah. and it's like Donald if Trump, you go back, well, yeah, if you should go, if you go back and watch The Simpsons from ten years ago, he'll it'll show you what 2019 is going to be like. Yep. Hmm. Pretty sure it, he wrote Idiocracy. I love. No, that, that was my that was Mike my Judge. Did. The creator I'm of King of the Hill. Ass. Oh, I thought <laughs> King of the Hill, Beavis and Butthead. He goes for it. Man. And well, he, I know he was. straight up, yeah. smart ass. And he straight up said he was like, when I wrote this movie, I intended it. I intended for it to be a comedy. I didn't know it was going to become a documentary. America. <laughs> Although I am for Terry Crews being President Camacho. I'm down with that. I'm and Gatorade I'm, replacing water. No, Fuck yeah. No. No. It's plants need electrolytes. It's Rondo. He said, "Fuck yeah." It's Brondo. Plants need electrolytes. It's got electrolytes. <laughs> it's what plants crave. You mean like from the, the toilet? toilet? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's cool that you're tarted, man. My first wife was tarted, and she's a nurse. Or she's a pilot. That's what... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. So oh, you don't? You've no, never you seen this movie? Oh my, oh, my God. God. It'll, it, it'll, I see the you'll watch it, and at first you'll laugh, and then as it progresses, you'll be like, this is just real. I'm living in this yeah. right now. Like, I'm surrounded by these people. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. It's, it's a big-ass fraud. It's, it's called <laughs> Idiocracy. I've seen the advertising. Oh, my God, man. I just never... it's, it's becoming real. Very yeah. yeah. It's scary. And y'all wonder if everybody's like, there's no such thing as time travel. They're proving it to us. Bullshit. Matt Groening is a fucking time traveler. I'm just gonna say, last year. Back to the future. Fuck. Hold on. Last year, <laughs> the lace up Nikes. Last year there was, <laughs> was there real. was but there was but a murmur about one of the most important things that's ever happened scientifically in our observable universe. When that object exited the black hole. Yep. Right. Oh yeah, I remember that. Light cannot escape from a black hole. So whatever was traveling out of it. Theoretically, it would be called faster than light travel. Yeah, because you get you, you get sucked in. You can't actually get out. Right, of it. and this thing didn't Damn just out. cruise out. It was hauling ass out of there. Why? I, I, this came from NASA. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I want follow up on this. No, they Where are they heading? Up. Are they coming? Is this thing coming to us? They don't no follow up. Is this no, coming they, to a city near me? Because no, you know, they passed us. They're like, there's oh, a yeah. dipshit yeah, fucking up They're like, day. oh, <laughs> there's the Alabama of the universe. Yeah. Keep on cruising. Yeah. <laughs> you know when we get a follow up on it? When shit go hits the fan. That's yeah. what that's it's right too late when this. we get a follow up. When it's Almer Geddon. No, Hold on. Be like independence Hold on, time like, out. He just said Almer Geddon. I'm fucking. He said Almer Geddon. Almer Geddon. There's a whole bunch of glue going down. I know him. I know Elmer Geddon. Oh. Why are they chasing the rabbit? This wascally <laughs> black hole. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to find out about something when there's like, why Dude, is there shit the coming of the war? City? Yeah. <laughs> well, we finally say, well, this is it. This is the last days of our lives. What to the Mayans? Y'all done fucked up. Hey, y'all know what I don't think that's what happened to the Mayans or the Aztecs. You know. I think it's those good. I think know, those motherfuckers went through an interdimensional portal and... They just came back? No, they no, didn't they come left. back. They left. Hmm. I was gonna say how do just... fucking how do several civilizations like they didn't find out where they went to? These motherfuckers just up and disappeared. Genghis Khan. These are... <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the Mongolians did not make it to South fucking America. Fucking Mongolians! <laughs> Goddamn Mongolians! <laughs> I gotta use the restroom. Oh, Jeez. my God. Oh, what God. the Jeez. fuck? See what you fucking started, like, Nugs? Fuck y'all. I got right. a bladder problem. I'm old. I'm black. Is everything wrong down there except for one thing? My credit's bad. I got a street cred. Hold on. There was this, there was this meme. I'm I fucking gonna, died. I'm this dude... Walk. This dude was talking about he got his Ancestry.com report back. Yeah. And he goes, turns out I'm 7% African. So uh, if y'all are looking for a brother, blah, blah, blah. And this black dude replied and goes, but are you black where it counts? And this dude replied and goes, yep, I got shitty credit. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy replied and goes, that's not what I was expecting, but well that's played. So <laughs> Lord, give me a water, please. All right, cool. Like from out of the toilet. <laughs> After you pee. No, in a bottle. For he wanted to pee. Hey, I brought you that Gatorade. <laughs> I, found, I found a yellow one in there. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> this water is so tasty. 
All right, let's see what it feels like without torn in here now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let the energy bounce. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I, I was, I I was talking about Bree- <laughs> I was talking about Breezy D Breezy there D. a couple minutes ago. Think about the show. Oh, she can, she can get it on the show. She can- <laughs> if that happens, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> you just, I don't care what you're doing. I'm just saying, Tucker. You stay. know what? If she came what? in here, Tucker, if, stay, give a play. At, by at play. least, at least I know what she looks like. Yeah. Like so, I'm I will be prepared. Yeah, it I won't be I'm... like when these assholes sprung uh, Missy on me. Oh yeah, that was my bad. Mother, oh, Missy. Dude, Antoine's the first too. time that woman walked through that door, I went. Yeah. Oh God, it feels like there's ten pounds of pudding inside me. Like, Did you just shit your pants? Oh, no, no, that's <laughs> not what I mean. Well, really? pudding's brown. Oh, it's pretty good for no. a forty year old. You think, that, <laughs> hold on, you think there's only brown pudding? Time out. You think there's only brown pudding, huh? Vanilla pudding. That could Vanilla pudding. I didn't say in my pants. I said there's ten pounds of pudding inside uh, me, again, and it needs to get that, out that right comes out now. Of brown cows too. And then that's so how you she's, get chocolate milk. Hold oh, on, yeah, she, like chocolate she's milk. wearing a jacket. <laughs> Well, she said, like, before she sat down, she took off that fucking jacket. And the only way I can water, describe man, this. Man, we're not supposed to go through this man's cabinet, find some glasses, hey, to get you some water. I you did. go out there to the double doors in the kitchen, uh, it's the washer dryer, the bottles of water on the dryer. Right, thank you. Tony. Get him one like, before he has a fucking fit. Shit. We ain't all Dion's friends. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Missy takes off the jacket. And the only thing I can describe this as. I have never seen a Wonder Woman logo stretched like that in my life. Oh, and yeah. I was just like, this woman's in danger and she doesn't know it. Like, ooh. Anything I can do for you, Massa? Because <laughs> 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 we just don't want you to get thirsty. Sit down, Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Corey looked up like you're talking to him. I was like, Cotton? <laughs> I didn't say I didn't say Q-tip. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's funny. That's what that girl said last time we was fucking. It was like a Q-tip. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> it's white, skinny, and fuzzy on the tip. <laughs> that's just particle board. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit! God, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, Missy. I was talking about the first time y'all motherfuckers brought her in here, and I was Has not she been prepared. Back? No, hell no, she you back out like, yeah, right, yeah right. She's like, I ain't going there with that fat man by myself. She knows what's gonna happen. She's gonna get it. She made yeah. a comment to me <laughs> one day. Now she won't. I love her. Last time I seen her at nightclub, she said, "Everybody talk about you, Torn, but I love you." So that got me curious. What are these motherfuckers saying about me out there in that little world that we were in? I, I disassociated myself from that world and got into this world. You know what I'm saying? I'm curious to what they're saying, so I'm about to send me a seed to go ke- check out what they're saying. I'm going to have to catch her sober because I'll never figure it out why she's drunk because I can never understand her. <laughs> you can't trust Missy drunk. It's really good yeah. to come to the show and not even yeah. like, no, nah, I can't do it. I'm like, Missy, I'm like, yeah. I need to catch her sober and find out what they're saying. I'm going to come back and say it on this show. I'm going to blow them all up. I'm going to go through all their Facebook pages and talk about everything about their lives. <laughs> what what, 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 what <laughs> world you playing? leave to come to Once the I get this, I've been working on this for about a month and a half now. Once I figure it out, I'm about to blow them all. People up. talking. I know about things. You? Yeah, I know things that they don't realize. I know. Where you at, Corey? <laughs> you know, I guess nowhere. I just found out we might get a sponsor. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Missy listens to the podcast. Huh? Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And she gonna think, oh yeah. Well then, she I know Missy. She gonna stay in that world. She gonna tell me what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> she listens to it, but she don't come on it anymore. No, nah, she, she can tell me what's happening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was blown Nothing, cause she got a I man. Know, this, this I gotta pull about, that. I gotta pull that positive K on her. What's your yeah. man got to do with me? Yeah, there's like I'm two or three people in there that I have total respect for, and I will never blow them out the water. You know, I'm not gonna say their names, but I, they know who they are. Never blow them out. They've done too much to get me where I'm at. What are you talking about? But everybody else in that world, fuck them. Up against the wall with handcuffs on. Fuck them gently with a chainsaw. Fuck them. Fuck them gently. You with that water chainsaw. already. God Jesus damn! Christ. Now he's gonna have to pee. Again. Yeah, he's gonna have to pee again in five minutes. They're all gonna have to move and feel uncomfortable for <laughs> no, five minutes. No, he got minutes. two empty bottles. Fill those bitches up. <laughs> 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 yeah, you throw it back in the refrigerator, make him think it's lemonade later on. <laughs> hey Danielle, <laughs> check out this party appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't drink the bubble tea. <laughs> Don't drink it's crystal it. light poured in the water. <laughs> That's Mexican water. Hey, call it crystal light because you got to throw up as soon as you drink it. <laughs> Oh, I, just about I love that Corey's just like <laughs> I'm just listening what is that's 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 everything said to Corey faces this way like Torrance says something sexy looks at me says something sexy <laughs> Torrance, Corey looks at me I don't think I said anything sexy a room full of men <laughs> I'm just saying like sexual or something like that oh. that's what, says I just want to say the whole world Corey looks at me like <laughs> did you catch that <laughs> is it just maybe a coincidence <laughs> <laughs> not every time motherfucker I mean maybe maybe not <laughs> I don't know what he's doing when he's looking around. No, it's like we <laughs> Corey, Corey's just excited to be somewhere. I'm <laughs> checking out everything. I'm out and about, everybody. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Corey, I'm not on my mom's couch. Maybe there's yeah. some pretty women looking at me. Yeah, be kind of nervous. Oh yeah, I do. That. We was at another little boat area down, like down by the water. Yeah, and he was like this, like blank motherfucker. <laughs> and I looked over at him, and I licked my two fingers, and I rubbed them across my eyebrows at what? him. <laughs> Yeah, I do that Every now. Every time he does that to me while we're dancing, I get up and sit down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I do that. Yeah, I don't either. I uh, got the girl looking at me like, "What y'all got going on?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's about to be a triple threat match. <laughs> no it's disqualification. Not... That's no, it's probably because I'm fucked up. Man. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, oh, he likes it. Whatever. <laughs> Are you writing us a love note? What's going on here? I was curious. Maybe I'm putting your names on a hit list, motherfuckers. Mind your business. Man, I got good insurance. I've been waiting <laughs> so my kids can have something. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Take me out. This comedy shit ain't paying. <laughs> shit. I'm ready to go. I just told him that the other day. I'm just trying to work work my life so I have something to leave you when I'm gone because I ain't got nothing to give you now. <laughs> See, what needs to happen now is this coming Wednesday... This is the time that Bulldog's ass needs to win that fucking Powerball because that bitch is five hundred fifty million dollars. So after taxes, that'll be like and the cash option, it'll be about three hundred twenty, three hundred forty million. And I'm going to tell you right now, we're all going to have very fun, fun, workless lives, <laughs> and it's hey. and it's going to get rich. Look, Good look, luck. hold on, look, check this, because. You see all these people that win. Like I was talking, I was talking about this last night. I was like, you see, like all these people that win Powerballs or lotteries and shit. They buy dumb shit. Like that's what they they buy shit. They acquire and they, I'm cre. See, that's why he won't be allowed to have money. I will set up like a trust fund for him, where he where he gets like ten thousand dollars a month. I'm bringing everybody over. He can't touch this without my consent. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, has no, to write down what I'm exactly. Like, fuck, you live in Indiana. Where are you going speedboat now? Salt life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, I saw one of those. I saw somebody said slut life. I'm like, okay, baby. What's up? <laughs> Is that who you were following down Green River Road? <laughs> yep. I think so. I was, I was going ahead to work. I had to pick somebody up. God the Midwest going to buy you a speedboat. I can take it to the river. <laughs> and do what? Run it? <laughs> right into a fucking log. I know. I'm going to fucking speed hop that shit like Deuce of Hazard. I don't know when you saw Deuce of Hazard on the water, but okay. Well, they got it. Well, it's like it's, the car is on land. The boat is on water. I'm just transitioning oh, to one or the other. I can see him with a bracelet. It's called a ramp. On this boat. It's, called, <laughs> it's a college too, dude. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> USI, I, I went to Ivy Tech and got kicked community out. College. You got kicked out of community college. I don't college. know, man. I hired a bunch of USI students once. I thought, man, I'm going to hire these USI students, these smart kids. I'm going to have no issues. They're the dumbest motherfuckers yep. I've ever met. They have no common sense. Sure went to UE. Yeah. Man, they were good. UE won't work for me. They know better. <laughs> they're like, they're wait. The smart ones. <laughs> we went to the University of Evansville. You think we're going to work for a black man? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But no, so I was talking about that, like people that win lotteries and shit, they buy all this dumb shit. And I'm like, I first, like one of the first things I will do, there's going to be a camera crew hired, like a camera and a sound crew. I'm talking like three cameramen and a sound guy Mm -hmm. and everything that I do with my group of people, these motherfuckers are on payroll, Yeah, but I'm going to set it up as a media company. To where we make money. fucking oh, money, money. Yeah. to pay these motherfuckers too. Like I'll make the initial investment, mm-hmm. but it's and then all of us have to get our passports. It would just be and, a call, show called Shenanigans. <laughs> Fucked. <laughs> 
You see the shenanigans? <laughs> if you say it one more fucking time, hey Barbara, what's that place you like to go to? What shenanigans? <laughs> the name of the media group. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just a picture of that shark. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he probably doesn't even fucking listen to the show anymore. He probably just faded away. He God, damn. Know. That's so sad. Who are you talking about? Dirt, Dirt Nap. Oh, Dirt Nap Dave. Yeah. Fuck, he just, he got a new job and he was like, man, I'm not going to be able oh, to do so the show anymore. better than us now. I fucking not. Isn't he wrestling now? He was, but he got injured. Yeah, I don't even know. Who was I haven't talked. I haven't talked to him. In WF, NWF, New NFW, New NFL. Focus. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I haven't talked to him in for fucking ever. Like I talked to him last week. I, really? Yeah. Man, he he doesn't get a hold of me at all anymore. I mean, well, mostly he said something snap. to defend him. Uh, maybe probably I'm, the her 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 thing. <laughs> He hated that so much. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the look on his face. Did you make he would he would just sit there and go. He done that with everything I said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every time me and Corey talk, he just go. He would say, but I mean, it, it was a good transition. Like, like, you know, Dirt Nap left, and uh, then Tucker happened to come yeah, in like two weeks later mm-hmm. to be on the show, and then that I was, was like, just a fan show. Yeah, and I was like, come back next week, and then just kept him coming oh, back. Yeah. I remember the first time I met Tucker, he was like, I get to see the guy who ruins the language every day. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm excited about that. <laughs> get to meet Nubby Slow. Everybody now, wants to. Now I get to see it and hear it. I still need to set up. I need to set up for our super fan, Josh Elliott, to come down. You got a super fan? Dude, this motherfucker knows every... He knows shit about my show that I don't. <laughs> he He's the first person that figured out who Strawberry was. Really? Dude, outside he don't even live show. here. Yeah, he, yeah, outside of the show. Like, Nubsy Elliot, and Tucker. Elliot figured it out, too. Yes, he was he so fucking excited. Yeah. He showed it to me. He's like, is this strawberry? I'm like, yeah. I had to, I had to make a delivery. <laughs> I had to make a delivery where Elliot was. And, and he goes, hey, is this strawberry? I was like, yeah. And he goes, dude, I almost commented <laughs> on the thing. Like, is this? And I was like, do it. She'll fucking crack up. And yeah, sure enough, man. But yeah, Josh Elliott. He fucking that Every dude. Every time I see a woman tag something in your comment on one of your things, I'm just gonna do a, vo- uh, a, a <laughs> voice thing. Go strawberry. <laughs> Torrin's gonna think like he's gonna be like, "Is this her? <laughs> is this her? <laughs> I'm gonna put it out in the public though. They gonna be private between me. Is that strawberry talking? All these women are gonna be like, "Who the fuck is tra- what? Is, what is strawberry? <laughs> strawberry is gonna do a good response. And when yeah, I gonna be she will too. She'll yeah. be savage as fuck. If you guess that it's her, she, she will. will. Yep. She will let you know. Yep. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it to every woman I see make a comment. It'll oh, probably be strawberry. it'll probably be a really funny GIF image. Like she'll yeah. she'll post something yeah. response like so, that. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing it. every time I see a woman post. I'm I'm just gonna put a reply behind it. Strawberry, <laughs> <laughs> strawberry. Dude, with pictures with, of strawberries. <laughs> pictures of strawberry, uh, eggplant, yeah, water. Like, <laughs> when I when I when I talk when I talk sweat dripping on strawberry. <laughs> when I talk to Josh, though, this dude like he will bring up shit. From sh- shows past, and I'm like, "Fuck, I don't, I don't even remember." And he's like, "Yeah, man, it was on this episode, at, like the 52 minute." I'm oh, like, "He got you a super dude, fan. yes, yeah. man." You like, might he be careful kn- not to invite him over here. No, <laughs> I know, I know him, I know him. We, uh, we worked together oh, okay. for uh, for a while, and like that's when he found out about my show. It was a couple months after I'd started doing it that mm-hmm. I started working with him. And he doesn't live here. We went through training together, and then mm-hmm. he uh, he lives east. In mm-hmm. the, and so let me ask you this: Can you figure out which website people are pointing at your show or getting coming? Dude, on, who clicks on your show? This is crazy. Website? So uh, Kirk the other day pulled up this random pod podcast app. Mm-hmm. He downloads it because he's looking for a, a specific show and found found out it was hosted on there. He pulls up this app. This app apparently has my RSS feed built into it because he was like, well, let me just do a search. I know which one you're talking about. And he, dude, no, this is, it was some fucking obscure, I'd never even heard of this. And he put in Bulldog Unchained and he goes, dude, you've got eight subscribers on this one. And I was like, I've never even submitted to them. So they had to get, like, they had something that picked up. Well, no, they picked up my feed from somewhere else but the cool thing is is as long as it's using my feed mm-hmm. which 
that's the only way that they could get my content. Yeah. They can't go and download, download my show yeah. to rehost it. But yeah, so all of these, like, I know that I'm on uh, Spotify, Podbean, Google Play, iTunes, Stitcher, uh, I think Shoutcast. There's some cast that I'm on. Uh, cast FM or something. I don't, I don't even know. There's a whole bunch, evidently, that also you have my show hmm. tied to them. And I'm like, holy shit, man. Oh, yeah, you did say it. Podbean? Yeah, Pod, no, Podbean's the company I host through. Uh, so, yeah, they have their own app. And, yeah, that's that's where the majority of my subscribers are. Hmm. Like, I have, uh, like, almost 800 subscribers just through that. Okay. But the thing is, is I can't monitor how many subscribers there are through iTunes and Google Play and Spotify. I don't know. All I know, I can see when it gets hit from yeah. there. But yeah, it'll tell me the platforms that people are listening on. Uh, it'll show me like whether it's Android, iOS, or other that they're mm -hmm. listening through. Weirdos. <clears throat> other. <laughs> Well, that would be like, uh, you know, Chrome. Yeah, they're playing yeah. through Chrome on their computer or whatever. Yeah. Fuck, I might have to piss, too. I'm going to hold it. I don't need to. <laughs> right? right, I'm good. <laughs> That's a mountain high. Man, I just don't drink a 24 ounce. Chase I might have prostate phone. problems, so I know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> my prostate's the size of my fist. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's before I had what in the fuck do you have yeah, going on? You got any new there? stuff? You got any new stuff? I was doing some waterfalls, but I can't remember the rest of the words. You but can't know remember he does the words. Karaoke too, over at Jerry's. He mumbles it and yeah. forgets half the shit. I do DJ sometimes with him. Yeah, he do DJ. He MCs and DJs. <laughs> See, if you didn't have somebody there with you that night, I was going to ask you to come back and MC and DJ with me. Apparently, whenever I DJ, that was garbage. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, on that fr uh, whenever we came in on that Friday. Man, let me tell you, since you uh, since that night has been a full house every freaking weekend. Really? Every freaking weekend, full house. I don't know what's going on. Are they waiting for me to return? I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's hey, happening. we know what happened with a certain brand of bourbon. Yeah, I know. Just right? because right? I pimp the shit out. <laughs> Full fucking house every fucking weekend, and, I, and, I, and it's off the hook. And, and I'm no longer they didn't take my re restrictions away. I can play whatever the crowd wants to hear. Motherfucker, I'm coming back. Whatever the crowd, I've been playing. Man, you know what song they love in that club? What? what you know White about? folks, black folks together. Hey, I don't we fuck want some with you. Say. <laughs> what? I don't fuck with you. Uh, uh, I, I don't that, fuck with I you. I play that. Everybody get the table bitch. next to him and start singing it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming in and doing T.I. I'll be there. This, this they, 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 it, I mean, it's restricted to a point, but they don't say nothing if somebody requests it. Some DMX. Yeah. Arr, arr, arr. Baby no. DMX. No. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Fuck y'all. I don't even like that. I don't even like that. I think we no, might be the same age. Why am I the baby? <laughs> oh, you're short. I mean, I'm you a... look like DMX's leg. DMX is my height. Yeah. He is. Yeah. How tall are you? He's got those video, those camera angles. He be using. <laughs> he's my height. <laughs> he's my height. Don't let him fool you. That's a uh. short motherfucker. <laughs> he like Cat William tall. <laughs> <laughs> so about the size of a bar stool. Yeah. Huh? D <laughs> when he sit in the chair, he got to crawl up. By the way, I can't think of the name of the movie, but every time that scene pops up, he's five eleven on, on my timeline. Way taller than he's one. DMX is 5'11"? Yeah. Oh, damn, hey, Wikipedia's not always mean. right. So chill out. Yeah, it's that's Google. True. That motherfucker well, <laughs> ain't no 5'11". That's what it says. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Ja five Rule's 5'9". <laughs> <laughs> Buster Grimes is 6'1". Nas is 5'8". What's Tupac it say five for nine. Cat Williams? Cat, Cat Williams 2'3". That was a good talk. That about Cat the same Williams mic. clip? 5'5". <laughs> five, five. Oh, yeah, I, 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 hey, exact same height. Me and Cat Williams. I think it's called, I think it's school dance or something like that. Where Where Cat, goes, Cat uh, Williams is in prison and he goes and she goes he goes uh, whose motherfucking white baby is that and she goes this is your baby stop playing there. And he goes, oh, that's a and he goes skit, nah yeah. that motherfucker right there that might be mine I'm not real sure about him just because you name him Darren don't mean he belonged to Darren <laughs> but that that is that is a white child that is not light skinned that is rice skinned <laughs> he is from the mountains he there is, that baby is Caucasian from the mountains of Caucasus that is a Slavic baby an Icelandic baby a Viking he goes that baby got a credit rating of 730 right now just <laughs> 
Oh, that's so fucked up. Oh, my. That, that, is, that is a Slavic kid. baby. An I was Icelandic. looking at a Jim Town liquor store, right? And this lady comes in with her father all the time. She was pregnant. And her father would come in just about every day, and I would talk to him. We got got into that, you know, relationship, back and forth relationship. Yeah, Jerry's wasn't she it. finally had the baby, Uh-oh. right? And then she came in with her husband and one day, and uh, they got something to drink, because she could finally drink. Then think, oh, you had your baby, da 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 I said, you need to bring him up here sometime so I can see him. And we sit there talking back and forth. She goes, her husband brings the baby, comes in one day, says, she's out in the car with the baby. So I served the husband, and we go out to the car, and I looked at this baby. And I go, that's your baby? That baby's black. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> I said, that's a black baby. She goes, no, no, that's his. I said, no, look at that nose. <laughs> so look at that look. I said, that baby skin just as dark as mine. Because it's a black baby. And he looked at her. She comes back about a day later and said, yeah, it's his best friend's baby. <laughs> I was I like, you stupid good. bitch. Have you seen that? That's stupid dude. <laughs> look, stupid dude. There's that meme. Um, yeah. There's a white couple, and the, mm. and the lady's holding a black baby, and the dog is looking at the guy in the family photo. It goes, it's time to start asking questions, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> my mom said that about every one of my children. She's the reason why I got paid for so many DNAs. I knew they were my kids, but she got paid for my kids. <laughs> I mean, after the fourth or fifth, you just kind of go, if a woman calls you and says, hey, I'm pregnant, you go, yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. I go, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I don't for you. Heard this a few times. <laughs> I, I knew when I pulled up my pants, goddammit. <laughs> By the way, you're pregnant. You're pregnant. Mm-hmm. So I started shooting in their throat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure yours would still too. get. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure yours would still get the job done. Yeah. So how the hell you get pregnant, baby? You swallow. Exactly. <laughs> she said, "Yeah, I swallow too hard." <laughs> she just dropped it. It ain't cost. That's like Joe bitch. Rogan talking about the miracle knife fight, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh my right. god, that's a real story. This woman evidently had sucked a dick. Okay. Mm-hmm. This woman gets stabbed in the stomach. The semen makes its way to the over. Show the fuck, and she got pregnant. See, that's mm. just my luck. A knife fight miracle baby. Oh wow, <laughs> that's just my luck right there. That is my luck. <laughs> Cause you fuck around with bitches that'll get stabbed. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Now y'all motherfuckers are quiet. What, I know. I, I'm right, we I'm just, just coming down. I don't know. High we, we, right just now. Fell, we just fell into that lull right here. <laughs> Nobody want to talk about having kids, man. Everyone's tired. Yeah, tired. <laughs> Everybody's Shit, tired. I'm, that's the first good sleep I've had in a long time. I took this whole. What was that off. like? I'm taking man, a nap. It was like heaven. It was like being in the perfect white pussy. Took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you act like you need What's that man. like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I figured it out this weekend. Though. I fuck with black girls. Mm, I fuck with girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my God, you just brought... So the whole R. Kelly thing, have you seen the remixes being made of his mm. interview shit? This so is one, fucking oh my God, hold on. So this one, this one hit me. This one got me good. It was like, he's doing that interview with Gail and, uh-huh. and he goes, there are older men who love younger women. And there are younger women who love older men. And she goes, are you an older man that loves younger women? And he goes, I'm an older man that loves all women. And right then the song kicks in and it goes, I'm an older man that loves all women. I'm an older man that loves all women. I'm an older man that loves all women. All women. All women. (laughs) And then it's this fucking just barrage of clips of women just shaking their asses and shit. <laughs> it's so you know great. What I like. And I was like, that motherfucker is old. He's in deep shit and unintentionally still producing jams. I like the <laughs> training day video where he goes, all y'all niggas out here, y'all fucking. Uh, uh, he said, like, I got y'all all y'all pussy, and now y'all want to turn y'all backs on me. <laughs> <laughs> You oh, haven't seen that? Yeah, I haven't seen that. that video? King Kong. Of R. Kelly. got shit on me. He, yeah, he was killing. He said, now y'all getting pussy to Timber- Justin Timberlake. <laughs> 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 and y'all got to check that video out. I it's did. all over the internet. Oh, it it was killing it. I'll check it out. And that Demi Lovato fart video. And it's so real. Because, <laughs> oh, you know, three of my kids, I can name them names off a 12-play album. 
You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for R. Kelly, shit. I wouldn't get been getting as much pussy that year. <laughs> See, I remember, I remember when Boys to Men came out. Mm-hmm. And man, Just, if you couldn't get laid, <clears throat> especially that Boys to Men two mm-hmm. album, if you couldn't get laid putting that on, you couldn't get laid. Yeah. I mean, my my two oldest probably should have been named after one of the people from Boys to Men. I mean, and everybody after that, R. Kelly. I have the Boys to Men too in Espanol. Actually, <laughs> you need to pass that it. to them. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I know this song, and I don't understand it. <laughs> the, Is it this end of the road? <laughs> the end of the road. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You should have stopped it. That was the, the whitest I've ever heard that song. That go. was almost a country song. I thought, no, I, no, I no. thought it was pretty good. <laughs> That's like a John Michael Montgomery. Oh, though we I don't remember where I was at, but they take all the hip hop songs. Or you get me and Bulldog's metal version that we. Did. And I swear they, they had these old hip hop songs playing to. Uh, I swear it was Michael Bolton, the way it was playing, and it, it just I was like. This isn't the thong song. What I know. I know something I need to do the thong, next day. Hey, the next time, the next time I come oh, to do karaoke, it's machine probably. Hey, <laughs> next time I come to do karaoke at your spot, Tucker will agree with this. I know the song I need to do. I need to do my metal version of "International Harvester" by Craig Morgan. I like that, I song. that song. I'm an international harvester. Yeah, yeah. that one. Uh, yeah, but I don't sing it like that. I don't know how to sing. I'm tone deaf, like you said. <laughs> that how you sing it, though? That's how you sing it. That's how I sing it. That's how you just that sound was, that it. That was pretty accurate. You sound like a window licker. What are you doing? <laughs> Only they vibe I'll be an international harvester. That's what I said. There, there was that ten percent Mexican. <laughs> Half. <laughs> international <laughs> harvester homes. <laughs> The only time I want to do it. When I first met you, you was half Mexican. Now you like twenty percent. No. When I first met you, you was all black. Now you just white. I mean, we all we all think. I guess. What does every <laughs> What does every Mexican kid What does every Mexican kid dread his homework in English class? <laughs> Issy. Oh boy. That's so fucked up. Oh, I don't even like racist joke. <laughs> That's not racist. <laughs> I'm lying. I'm the king of racist jokes. I always talk about black people. You almost, <laughs> <one> <laughs> almost got beat for it one night. Yeah. She came to my liquor store the other day. She, what'd she say? So I walked in because I had just went to lunch and I just came walked to open the door. I, I, you know, I'm tired. I, I wasn't feeling my day at all. She made my day. I wasn't feeling my day at all. I opened up and she looked at me and I said, oh, she looks familiar. And she just gave me this look. And she said, that's that comedian that's on stage. I said, oh, you remember me from stage? Huh? Just like that, really loud. And she goes, yeah, I remember you. She said, my cousin came up there and beat you up, but you was already gone. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's the woman that didn't like the black jokes. She I'd have been like, store. well, you tell Day Day he needs to show up quicker. <laughs> he, he like his child support always late. She had sweaty arms and everything. Yeah. Oh, ugly bitch, go change your wig. God damn. I'm going to slap you so hard, turn your wig around. She had you don't it. know where I am. make you look like Cousin It. Where do you go? Where, where do you go? <laughs> Stupid bitch. She wore like sweatpants above. I bet you can take your shirt off your back hair and your head bald. <laughs> you ain't even got to wear a bra because your pants What'd is you pulling, dude. <laughs> what joke did you say? Uh, what did I say? Uh, that one is child uh, support? the child support joke. Oh. Yeah, what was that joke? How did it go? Oh, I, I said, oh, they call me the white guy because I pay my child support and they, my kids know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody <laughs> died. She Everybody was in the bar like this. Hmm. This <laughs> man because she ain't got a child support that we using our friend's money. <laughs> she has the bar using. <laughs> can't get a drink off of EBT, dude. Oh, shit. shit. Yeah, angry bitch. Tax hey. time's coming. Shut the fuck up. Hey, hey girl. Park about to sell some of them yeah. cards. <laughs> hey, girl. What's your WIC number? <laughs> For real. <laughs> Why do you go sell half your strands off? Shit. Talking about no more. Nobody get my password. Nobody wants the password to get EBT card, bitch. No. <laughs> What she say? She said, "Try not to uh, disgrace your culture." Yeah, you're, like that's what so everybody I'm not disgrace does. Disgrace my culture, you are. <laughs> Goddamn, you can't take a joke. Shit, I bet you had a shut up for I beat you with your wig. <laughs> that's take all day. 
<laughs> you know, you know what I noticed. You know what she said to me? It's glued on. It can't come off that easy. You, you know what I noticed about last night? So <laughs> look, he put his head down. He so look, <laughs> I'm I'm Irish, Scottish, Icelandic, and oh, last night all these places they were celebrating St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day already came and gone. Not today. Well, today. today, but <laughs> oh, for yeah. for bars and shit, they did it last night. And I saw several black folks dressed up with you know the the derby hats on like the green fucking leprechaun hats and all the oh, shamrock man, beads me and personally. now now hold on I, I looked and I was like <laughs> now That's if I hold on right if I were to show up on Kwanzaa wearing a daishiki and some fucking African prayer beads and some shit like that showing support being supportive not I, I'm not talking I, I about I'm not talking about showing up in blackface yeah. and bullshit but actually yes, celebrating this, <laughs> I would be called out for cultural appropriation. You know what, man? Meanwhile, there are... And then, it happens to the Mexicans, too. Yeah. How in the fuck do we in the United States of America celebrate Cinco de Mayo? What the fuck? Those what are that? the most racist fucking holidays I've ever it. seen. Like, how, even... how are you going to claim the Mexican Independence Day? That's like... I, I don't think Mexico and Canada are celebrating the 4th of July. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, no. I was working at an Irish pub, and we was coming up on St. Patrick's Day, and I was like, oh, yeah, cool, we're going to have St. And then they started talking about, we're leprechauns, we're this. I was like, man, first of all, I've never met an Irishman that was less than six foot tall. <laughs> you I'm, know what I'm saying? Man, son. <laughs> so, Marty y'all, McFly. this is the most racist holiday, and I, I got mad. I quit working St. Patrick's Day over there. <laughs> I got shit. I said, like, y'all are the most racist people I've ever seen. Everybody see, wearing yeah, green hats. Foot. Here's here's one thing huh? I love. I'm below six foot. But you don't look like a fucking leprechaun. You're like 800 pounds, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You know, 800 pound gorilla? 900 yeah. pound gorilla. I mean, so how the fuck y'all. Leprechauns. That's the most racist shit, dude. <laughs> One thing I love, though, you know who does not care about or even subscribe to the term cultural appropriation? Asian cultures. That's a whole they, bunch of like, them. when. when Anybody? They know they're smarter than us. They don't give a shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but no, not just that. Yeah. But but you see people all the time. They'll get Japanese kanji, or they will get the fucking Chinese I Ching characters tat- tattooed on them. Uh, the samurai culture is mm-hmm. huge, man. The Bushido code and all this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've got all of that. And then you look at like if if you were to show up at a Japanese family's house. Yeah, if you were invited for dinner and you showed up wearing a kimono making out with an Asian daughter they would be impressed that you came dressed for the occasion they would not be like that's inappropriate oh you take your shoes off too yeah you take your shoes off before you enter they'd be like damn so yeah and they like they would look at it like Wow, you respect our so culture far, enough to learn about it, and you want to integrate yourself. Yeah. I'm just trying Which to is, get that daughter. You want to tan that white yeah, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, 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 buddy. I'll go work it. I'll go work your rice patty if you give me. Nah, I won't. You know, I'll put some water on your rice biscuit. <laughs> Miss Sukiyaki, there coming home with me though. Just add sake, sake there to me. That's funny. Sake this dick. In Texas, I was on military post and hung out with a Korean dude all the time. It was my best friend down there. And every time I went to his house, you know what his father said to me? What's up, my nigga? And the reason why he said it, and he explained it to me, he said, that's what I thought the way y'all, I thought yep. your people like to be a, 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 a It's a greeting. Greeting. Yeah. He said that. And then he said it to me, and that's why the I hear more Asians. Me. I hear more Asians use nigga. Yeah. In what would be construed as inappropriate ways, then because they then, think it's a, a, a yep. word of appreciation. <laughs> yep. If you don't want motherfuckers to say it, don't say it yourself. Right. That's, <laughs> that's like that's like when I say it. Pretty much anybody who's ever heard me say it, the only people that have ever gotten upset are white, white people. Because yep. when They're I say it, I don't. I don't ever. Yeah. Oh no. Dude, I don't ever use it disrespectfully. Yep. I, like the most that I use it. Is like somebody will say something to me really fucked up, or or really stupid. And I'll just look at him and be like, nigga, like, <laughs> and that's that's my yeah. favorite. Like I use it kind of like you motherfucker, you yeah. motherfucker. When he yeah. first said it to me, kind of pissed me off. But then Who, you know, me? no, my oh uh, oh that, yeah, that, you that, buddy. That, that green, I was like sixteen. You know, and then he said that, explain to me why he says it and the way he thinks about America and everything. He said, y'all don't know what y'all want. 
They said, <laughs> they said right. That's true. Y'all call each other these names, and then whenever you call a black guy, can call say it to a black guy, but a white guy can't say it to a. Black See, guy. and that to me, okay. Everybody talks about equality. Yep. You cannot have equality with preferential treatment. I agree so with that. I okay. think the whole mass population has to come together and that decide. Comes back to me and him doing black the, face and white face. Right. Is the yep. word is the word nigga acceptable or, or is, is it, it not? not? Yeah, it's got to be one if or it, the other. If it is, then yeah. it's acceptable. acceptable. Yeah. Now, yeah. if somebody puts that hard R on you and you take offense to that, that's different. Yeah. My but, thing yeah, is, that's way different. You, you can say what you want. If you're saying it to offend me, I will go ahead and give you that offense. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying if to you're get that rise, just, I might yeah. give you I'm that rise. I'm going to give you that rise because you're ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. You, you need to be put in your place. You know different. what I'm saying? If you're saying it because you think that's... I'm sorry. It don't have no real meaning behind you. He can't hold out. He can't hold out. If you're saying it because it has no real meaning... See, me and Corey tried it on stage. I had him dropping the end bomb at the end of the show. Yeah. A lot of comedians told us don't do it anymore. trying to get me in trouble. Yeah. Do what? A lot of comedians told us not to do it anymore. We did it two or three times. That's like, that's not going to Oh, I thought it was fucking hilarious. Anymore. You was there at one on one. Yeah. Yeah. Was it, it funny? Because we, we, we played with the word all through it. I dropped it here and there. And he'll be like, oh, I can't say that. He don't let me say that. We played with it all the way through our act. Did well, he they, say they did it? Hold on. on the show. When yeah. he said it, was it awkward as fuck? It, yeah, it would have that, to. It, it was like three that's seconds a of, of silence. That's punching up for comedy. That's yeah. how it should yeah. be. And it was a three that's, seconds of silence. Yes. And then I, I started laughing, and everybody else started laughing with me. And that you know what? I if I, I were you, worked. if I were you, I, I would tell. Because <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. Because you guys talked about it on the show a long time ago. Yeah. yeah see, yeah. so if that's like, let me tell you, if I were in earshot of that conversation, I would walk out. I don't care if you black, white, brown, red, purple, yellow, mm. neon, green. I'd be like. Actually, you need to mind your business or go get you a white partner to do yeah. comedy with like they got and fucking and make the shit thought, work. Cause, I thought it was good. Yeah. Corey was kind of nervous because a couple people, uh, the way they looked at him. So well, I, I, I respect, out of respect for him, he's scared he's going to get his ass whooped and let it ride. But I think if we ever make it big, I'm going, we're going to go back to that. Throw it, yeah. We're going to go back Throw to it that. out yeah. there. We can buy security, fuck it. Yeah. But, I, but in the beginning, they got a point. We're trying to make it. <laughs> And these other but you know what though? No, what that is—that's other comedians trying to hold you the fuck down because yeah. they realized you had yeah, no. you had a closer that beat whatever they had. Yeah, and, and, and that's all that is. Because that was the exactly. very last word of the of the uh, very last thing that happened on our act, and they killed. Every, yeah, every time, a couple times, it, 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 I had a, we had to make it kill. Yeah, you know what I'm because saying? people are unsure yeah, of how to yeah, react. Yeah, but that's just it, man. It doesn't matter. You can have a split crowd you can have that white black mix and as soon as everybody looks around that's, that's what, what happens happen. everybody gonna look yeah. around and as soon as the laughter starts everyone's, everyone's laughing, laughing yeah. together yep yeah. oh you mean like what everybody bitches about needs to happen we need more unity we need unity among the races yeah. and cultures about but then when somebody tries to make it happen in the best way possible through comedy, comedy yeah. you want to bitch about it. Bitch Fuck about off, you know, man. Yeah. You know I, yeah. I need to be, I need to be like, I don't need to be your manager. I need to be like the PR rep. Right. Mm. I need to be the fucking <laughs> PR <laughs> rep. That's right. Yeah. I'll be like, uh, you can eat a big bag of dicks, yeah. sir. Yeah. Well, and that's no, the way, thank you. No, that's, thank you. that's the way we okay. were in the beginning. Like, fuck it. We are who we are. We, let's just be us. Yeah. You know, and honestly, our comedy has went down a little bit since we try to cater. It, to that. That's what I told Josh on that show. Uh, yeah. On that Our show, has, I said, I said, as soon as you either kill. you either allow yeah. someone to censor you, or silence, or you start when doing I, it. With that Josh situation, it, that's the first thing I thought. I said, you man, start doing it if you allow someone to do it to you, or you do it yourself. I did it on this show. Mm -hmm. When I took out the very opening of the "You Are the Motherfucking Antichrist," mm -hmm. I did it thinking, okay, this will make a better change for the show. And every week that I heard the show, it pissed me off yep. more and more that it wasn't there. Yep. Because those should be the very first words anybody who listens to my show hears for the first time. Mm -hmm. Because within five seconds, I have now right put you attention. in a position to where you either go, okay, this is going to be great, mm -hmm. or this is not for me. Because when you hit play and it goes, you are the motherfucking Antichrist! Uh -huh. I want the decision to be made right then. Yep. I, that's the line in the sand. Yeah, the show ain't getting any better from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but people are too fucking stupid to turn it off. They would rather listen to it than bitch. And guess whose problem that is not? Yep. 
And I don't I don't get hate mail. I don't get any hateful messages about my show. I don't get anybody. The biggest thing that I get from people is, dude, I love your show. It's hilarious. I don't always agree with everything that you say. But goddamn, you and your co-hosts and all of your guests are entertaining as fuck, and I laugh the whole time. That's the whole. Point. That's all that fucking matters. That's the whole point. If I offend you, cool, yep. cool. I look at being offended, in in the. T- I gotta forget who said Louis C.K. Mm-hmm. Oh, I offended you. Well, good for you. Yeah. That means I forced you to have a conversation in your own head that you were uncomfortable with, yeah. and maybe you've reached a new point of understanding about a topic that you mm-hmm. wanted to avoid. Yeah. Maybe you grew a little. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I have no the problem offending. You, understand that. you being yeah. offended does not affect not me in the yeah. least. Yeah. I don't give a and fuck. It's weird because I've always lived my life like that. But yeah, me too. After a couple of shows, and like, I felt like shit a when I censored my felt show. Like have made it. They told me, yeah, y'all should probably drop that ending. Y'all did good up until the ending, and they kept saying that. And but my thought was, and again, well, from I an said outsider's it the whole show, yeah, and you from, didn't have a exactly. problem with that. From an outsider's perspective, you being the it being the last thing that's said. In right. the show, and you dance around it the whole, whole time, time, and then yeah. finally Corey goes, "Nigga, mm-hmm. that's hilarious." Yeah, sure. And you know, and I told him while you were in the bathroom, I said, "Anybody who's trying to shut that down on you realizes you have an explosive dynamic. You have a killer finish that they can't top." Yeah, that's the only reason the that only anyone, that word's especially die, these are other comedians. These are other comedians. comedians they yeah. should fucking know better. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, dude. Do you know who uh, uh, Mitch Mitch Mullaney is? Oh, Mitch Mullaney. The white comedian who grew up in the hood. He did the movie. Uh, oh, good damn it. Never heard Milk of that. Milk Mama. Yeah. Uh, the Breaks. Never the Breaks. It's about this white dude that grows up with a black family in, in Compton. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Oh, Corey's my God. Man. I love Corey's that. face was so confused right there. Like, yeah. The breaks. He's, he's adopted. No. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. All the bullshit movies you watch, you ain't he's watch a, that? No. He's this he's this <laughs> Irish he's this Irish kid and he gets adopted by a black family in Compton and raised by and it is fucking ridiculous, dude. It's so funny. So fucking funny. Mm. Like that's and he's he's one of those dudes that you don't even think about it when he says like it's just like all right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like he's He's in the culture. Yeah. And he's... God damn, son. What the fuck? God damn. God damn. God. <laughs> laugh, the whole laugh, world laugh with you sneeze in this goodbye apartment. <laughs> this motherfucker's gonna blow up. What if every one of these pops just fucking fell off? I'm like, it happened again. Shit, that sounds like she had a snout on that motherfucker. <laughs> What is he sneeze and farted at the same time? I'm like, nobody got that on tape? So <laughs> sneeze, sneeze not, fart, pop funny. your back. Yeah. And you so go, fast. oh. Yeah, that could be bad. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anybody seen that movie Double Take with uh, Eddie Griffin and uh, yeah. Martin? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that scene. Martin Lawrence is the shit. He is the shit. <laughs> when he fucking. Uh, None of his facial expressions like. Yeah. One of my favorite roles with him is in Wild Hogs. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. With Tim yeah. Allen and Tim John Travolta. Allen, yeah. the, thing, the thing with fucking him William is, H. Macy. His facial expression can when he get, laugh. When he got punched. Not even what he says. When, he, when, he, gets, when he gets punched in that movie, he goes... <laughs> 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 Martin Lawrence, though. Uh, I like uh, The Black Knight. Is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Black Knight, That's funny. I love oh, that. that really I love that. Because, you know, all these stuck-up white people walking around yeah. pretentious <laughs> as hell. He's acting niggerish shit <laughs> okay. I'm really starting to hate I this word it. more. <laughs> they say shit to him like, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> his name was I'm Skywalker. I'm not going over that. His name was what? Skywalker. Yeah. 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 He made his own brand of shoes. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> I, started every, I started every motherfucking thing. Yeah. I need to download that movie again. Oh, fuck, I, I haven't that seen movie. that in years. I oh. watched uh, Revenge of the Nerds the other day. Oh. Ooh, I, I said that about 25, 30 years. I haven't years. seen that in a long time. It's been a while. And I was working yeah. on design it's work. still so funny as fuck. Yeah. Oh, I was laughing my ass off. I watched the first three. <laughs> I, was, I was sitting there long enough. Because that was I the best. After three, three they got kind of stupid. Yeah, the fourth, yeah. the wedding one was. Yeah. yeah. They got stupid. Mm-hmm. The college years, that was the best one. Booger, yeah. Booger had to be one of my Shit, favorites. Revenge of the Nerds is the reason why I eat pussy. <laughs> Cause, Cause he good. made a comment on there. He's, what, what did he say? Right? He said, "Yeah, most uh, women don't mess with us, and they don't realize how good it is to uh, eat pussy." Jocks think they too cool to do it. <laughs> yeah. I thought, "Oh, I'm not too cool." 
particularly the eat pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. I've never been cool, so. Nope. Nerds. <laughs> Not too, I'm going to eat pussy all the time. I might eat it more than I fuck it, goddammit. <laughs> and I do like right? through my high school years, I might have done that. I do like 60%. So like those bitches fucking, got pregnant. I eat it one day, fuck it the next. As he eating 10% pussy. <laughs> I'm just listening to you guys. Yeah, like, Nubsy, 60% pussy eating, 30% ass eating, 10% fucking. <laughs> Uh, I, like the, I like to pleasure people. I'm a, I'm a giver, so you know that. I'm a giver. I'll eat your ass, girl. Shit, I'm a taker. <laughs> I'm the I'm undertaker. Take that pussy. <laughs> the undertaker. Die, I'll take die, it out. Eat it out. Take it out. Slap it out. Fuck it. It's mm, mine. Mm. <laughs> Push your lips together, both sides. <laughs> Make a zipper. I like doing that. Oh my god. I quit listening to Nubsy like ten minutes ago. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just want to say something. I quit listening to like two years ago. <laughs> Mexican, <laughs> Inter- <laughs> Mexican Independence Day is September sixteenth. Not single de Mayo. Just want to get that in there. September sixteenth. Hey, Google that shit. Do you yeah, just think Cinco de Mayo is in September? <laughs> he trying to sound like that's no. <laughs> September <laughs> Mexican Independence. Day. Is that what he's trying? He to He had say? to Google to make sure. I had to make sure. He's just trying to get so his what? Mexican so what is Cinco de Mayo? Then? He's trying to get his Mexican it's the same buddies thing. to like him. Yeah, I'm trying to get my Mexican. Y- friends y'all get two of them. You nah. get two independence. Cinco de like, Mayo is not Independence Day. What July, I love is you ask him. You ask it. You actually ask a Mexican. You know, like, like what? What? Well, who did you beat? And they go the French, and the response should be, "Well, who the fuck didn't?" <laughs> it's like us though. Like July Fourth ain't Independence Day. Is August second? Everything else got signed. You know what I'm saying? Learn that from the park. July Fourth is when we won our independence, not yeah. when we got our. Independence. No, that's when everything was signed. We won. No, oh. no son. No, no sir. Both of you are wrong. I'm black. I don't give a fuck about American history. <laughs> It hasn't worked out for you me so your, far. You American mind. history is real <laughs> shitty for me. February's over. You're we can forget now. <laughs> Shit. Torn, I, every month for me Shit. is every month. No, <laughs> there ain't no uh, Black History Day. Goddamn. You got a whole black month. History <laughs> <laughs> Day. Yeah, you got no, a whole no, no. month. It's a short You're right. Month. A whole month and nobody Hold celebrates. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just point something out. <laughs> and it's the shortest month no. of the fucking year. Now, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, Let me just wait, tell you. Hey, every four years you get an extra day though. Yeah. So oh, what the fuck you can No, no about? wait. Every four no, wait. years I get more food stamps too, motherfucker. So, hey, hold on. Every four wait. Black History Month. Stop. You get another day. Stop. So this Fourth of July bullshit. So bullshit. We weren't in school then, so that's just another fucking day. Okay. Yeah. But y'all motherfuckers get a day off in February. For what? For Martin Luther King. That's if it don't snow in November, mm. in December, or October, mm. or January. Not this, bullshit. Not just a bullshit. Everybody still, the they day still off. don't go. No, if it snows, it's a, it's just an extra day, bro. They mm-hmm. take a day that that man let, let let us take a week out in November. We already I got the day off. Guarantee you be in school with the game now. Guarantee. Guaranteed. No, I'm saying <laughs> the majority of black kids don't go to school on that day. Regardless. I didn't go, I didn't majority go to school on that day. Majority of black kids day. didn't go to school all year, goddamn. <laughs> that was touring. <laughs> that, was, touring. that was the black guy the that black said guy. that. Yeah. I didn't go to school that much either. I hardly attended. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, no kidding. I hardly been Especially there. during Spanish class. Yeah. In I got English. a 1.8 GPA. <laughs> we didn't celebrate 8. the end of the Civil War. We don't have a day to celebrate the end of the Civil War. We don't have a uh, day to celebrate anything that had anything to do with that. The end of slavery. We yeah. don't have that day. You seen the movie well, Gangs of New York? That's the celebration. Because it did happen in February. <laughs> he said Gangs of New York. That's a good movie, though. <laughs> Martin Scorsese. The original didn't even have black people in it, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> they had one. <laughs> After the guy, first 10 minutes of the movie. <laughs> yeah. They called him. the first nigga. They, they called shot. him Black Bill. <laughs> yeah. uh, he was the Bob. only black man. <laughs> Nigga Bob. Nigga Bob lives over in Harlem. He lives in Vincennes, actually, I know. (laughs) (laughs) That's a true story, too. Vincennes, Indiana. We had a black Bob in Mount Carmel. Hello. Now there's a couple black families. No, now now they call him Black Bob in the 80s. They call him Nigga Nigga Bob. Bob. Yep. (laughs) They got politically incorrect. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, no. I mean, that's how he introduced himself. Yeah. He was like, nigga met. Bob, uh, yeah. and people yeah, did swear. not bat an eye. They were like, yeah. okay, nigga Bob. Mm-hmm. Like, oh. they, when I was there, they thought they were gonna call me nigga Torn. I said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfuckers wrong. I mean, the Torn are gone. Can I call? <laughs> can I call you NT? <laughs> <laughs> No. N.T. <laughs> I had a conversation with him. I said, they call you that? He said, yeah, they've been calling me that since I was a little kid. I'm about the only black person right here. I said, ah, oh, you're going to be the only one. I got my car and went home. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be so lonely. I mean, there are other black dudes in Mount Carmel, but they stay at the college, mm-hmm. and if they leave the college, they go to Princeton. Yeah. Or come across, across to here. Yeah. yeah. They need to come yeah. to Evansville. Yep. 
I they did, they're they from Evansville. Yeah. Why would you leave Evansville and go to yeah. Mount Carmel? Because sometimes... They get a college scholarship to yeah. play basketball, and, and they stay there. a lot of these redneck there. colleges and these redneck towns, they will give a nigga a scholarship. Oh, dude. They, they will get huge support from the community while they're on the court. Yep. But we don't want to see you in town. Yep. Like, that's... You gotta see you in town. not a joke, man. We'll see you in town tonight. We'll see you in court in the morning. <laughs> you make it. Yep. Have y'all seen that fan-made uh, Bel Air movie? Like, Will Smith's Life? Yeah. Isn't that, uh, we, do you I know, haven't seen it. I heard about it. You know, I, I, one scene, he's shooting hoops in the gym at, in Bel Air, and the dudes don't like him until he makes the hoop. And he's like, all right, welcome to Bel Air. It's kind of like I just thought about like that right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. if, to be accepted by a uh, white community in the right city, you got to have a skill. <laughs> and beatboxing ain't one of them. How many ain't either? Try to beatbox so that I can spit. <laughs> I, I, say, I, I try to beatbox. Nobody stepped to me. <laughs> that's, that's why I said if it. you beatbox like you speak Spanish, that's why. Yeah, I, I like, or he's party. like, he's like, <laughs> how do you know how I do it? I like, thought you was like, like, a like <laughs> I thought you were imitating a diesel engine, dude. Know. Like, what the fuck? I think he's about to rip <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had cock, man. I'm trying to spit. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were impressed by my little <laughs> sample there. Uh, the, the the show people listening or me? <laughs> I know Torn wasn't. He's a black one in the room. He ain't According to y'all, I'm not. <laughs> not really. Oh yeah, I forgot yesterday. No, it's Corey. Corey's the blackest one. <laughs> Corey. Corey doesn't pay his child support, and I've never met any of his children. <laughs> That's gonna be me. I don't want nobody to know my kids. <laughs> you don't know your kids. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got one when he was like 21. That's so fucked up. You were like 28. No, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I was like 20, 21, it's illegal. Oh, okay. The kid ain't 21. I was like, damn. Tapping ass since I was seven. Uh, baby should have molested you. That ain't tapping. <laughs> hey, hey, That's I'll, felony. Hey, it was my cousin. I'm all time my babysitter was. So that'd be. Yeah, well, you really got This ain't like Kentucky. Yeah. Oh, boy. This ain't Kentucky. Yo. God damn it, Where the family trees don't branch. <laughs> we, we took it. We took it fur. We took it fur. Shit. Oh. It's not a family tree. It's its family stem. That's why. <laughs> that's why murders go unsolved in Kentucky. Uh-huh. All, all the same DNA, done. and there's no dental records. <laughs> you take a DNA test. Everybody got the same DNA. We can't figure out who doing it. Slapped mm-hmm. right on the back. Hmm. I went to a place down in Texas, what man. The fuck was that? And uh, <laughs> this is in the nineties, though. And I swear they were still living in the slave days. What? I swear they. Where were, were you? Somewhere I can't remember. It was a little town we stopped off in. <laughs> Fucking in, Alabama, Texas, <laughs> Plano, Texas. Oh. close to Mexico, close uh, to the water. <laughs> no, farther. Close to the yeah, water. Cl- close to the border. I mean, oh, okay. I, I, I can't. Give oh, you the a border. Name. I thought you said close to no. the water. No. I was like, <laughs> close to the border. I, can't right. give you I thought name. he said water too. For yeah. Real. yeah, he did. This. Can't... He did the first time. But the oh, water is the border, though. Hey, the... my father got big lips. Y'all motherfuckers can't understand. The Rio Grande. That's the water. That's a river. That's a river. A river. That's a river. Kids were walking around barefooted. Adults had overalls on. I swear, and it was still no shirt. No shirt. Yeah, and I was like, I looked at my mom. You know, we're we're military family, so you know. We seen all kind of technology and shit by now. I, I looked at my mom. So she said, "What's going on?" She said, "I don't know, baby. Just get in the car." I swear that's what she said. Just get in the car. I'm like, get the fuck in the we car. We didn't even get gas. Leatherface got back in the car and left. They were talking like, "He oh there. He's a he's what they do that." I was like, "Where their lips don't touch when yeah. they when they make that." Yeah, the teeth didn't hey, move, but they listen. <laughs> can you tell me where John is? Hey, he over there. Hey, he over there. He went over there yonder. It's out the salsa. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. What the fuck? Was it Arlington? Arlington. He couldn't. He can't give Dude, you a name. That's by Dallas. That's not even south. He couldn't right. give you a name. Right. Right. I can't about? give you. It's Waco. a little small town. See, I listen. <laughs> Waco. Waco. You, you can keep throwing names at me. I'm just gonna look at you. Arlington's where the capital. I can tell you what right Houston. <laughs> I can tell you in Houston it ain't Dallas and ain't Killeen. Albany. Albany. Killeen. Y'all know what they name Killeen? Killeen. Irving. Killeen, Texas. You know how he got his name? Cater. No. Because of the chains. The chains. K i l l e e n. Denton. Clan, clan. Kill each every nigga. What's the name of it? I was off. They were told you that in history school class. History school. They didn't tell me that. It was history school. The way they was acting down there. All that shit was backed up. What was it? Killeen. Killeen. That what you said? Google Killeen. 
Killeen. K I L L E E N. It's right next to Fort Hood. K I L L. Fort Hood. Fort Hood. That's where I was living. I lived there for about a year. I was like, I don't like it. I'm going right there. Town in Alabama. <laughs> Texas, man. Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. I was going to Alabama too. <laughs> well, that doesn't surprise me. No, because they want to kill each and every nigga too. <laughs> Killeen is a city in central Texas. It's known for the Fort Hood military base. The base includes the first cavalry music. Oh, the oh, they ain't gonna talk about the nigga part, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. The Wikipedia is gonna conveniently yeah, leave that, that, that out. Whitewash. I'm, yeah. I'm We're gonna whitewash this for you. I'm not gonna Google search that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gonna Google search. Kill each and every nigga. The and then all, all of a sudden he gets red flags. <laughs> There goes that 50% Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you going back. I'm like, no, nah, man, I was born here. <laughs> you sound like back to me. I was, I was born, born here. here. I was born here. No, 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 Pablo. No, no. No, Pablo. <laughs> My name, Cristobal. <laughs> oh, I know a dude named Cristobal. Billy Crystal? No, what? 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 I know a stripper named Cristobal. Uh, oh, my God, I love strippers. <laughs> <laughs> They're okay. <laughs> <sighs> I refuse to pay for sex on any stance. <laughs> I, I like when they just let me touch their butt and just poke it like this. <laughs> That's what I like to do no too. Well, I, yeah, I like to poke right in the butt. Look, I, poke, I use my finger though. Uh -oh. I use that first. <laughs> I like to show them the magic trick. I'm like, do you feel my thumb in your butt? Yeah, magic. <laughs> I wiggle my hands in front of the face. That's so fucked up. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a minute. It wasn't his thumb at all. God. I wish we had video. Oh, no shit. <laughs> I wish we had video. No Is that lost look in his eyes? <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, I, mean, I thought he meant video of him it, doing no, the magic trick. It, 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 it would have been the 30 seconds and nothing going... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, what is that? We gotta slow it down a little bit after that show. Yo no comprehendo. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get you sound just like those speaking Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Yo no comprehendo. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Oh, Shit, we've gone 10 minutes over, 11 oh, minutes over. That so. would be all right. That's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, right. So like, this gonna be another sixty dollars. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. You ain't getting that first sixty. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I wasn't paying in the first day. Right. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it's like I love the misunderstanding in Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. Oh, oh yeah. mistake. Like, I need uh, two hundred dollars. Ha ha! Funny, funny. You're my hooker. Here's your two. No, seriously. Where's my ten dollars? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, he's fucking dead serious, dude. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> That was great. Yeah. All right. I was just looking around. It's I think that's it. <laughs> Everybody's like this. This has, been, <laughs> this has been the Bulldog and Jay podcast. I'm your host, King of Village Bulldog Malenko, along with Tucker. What up? Nubsy Slow. It's your boy, boy. And uh, thanks again for Torin and Corey coming in today. Peace out, man. It's, it's <laughs> Peace out. Peace out, man. Peace out, man. We did it. What's up? We got to do it. Peace out, man. All right. We'll be back next week. Later. Yeah.